body bags were whore lies. Now take my bitch. She won't complain about shit cause she's my hoe. She don't belong to a trick, so when you fuck her and give her all your cash, I get paid. I put my foot in her ass, I won't marry the bitch And give her half, I get mohead And then I laugh at that one bitch shit I got a gang of hoes, I get freak ass lick these balls and toes Now stupid little bitches get tossed If they don't realize that I'm the motherfucking boss Come on down and get your ass pinched And if you talk shit, get your ass lynched Cause I'm the B, the I, the T, the C, the H, the K, the I, the L, the L, the A, Sean B Yo, what's up everybody? Everybody. Welcome to week 62 here on Body Bags. I am your host Moon616 and thank you once again for dropping in guys. Alrighty, yeah, week 62 is here and it is Killer Doll Week. Uh, always been a really big fan of Killer Doll films. Anything to do with dolls is awesome. Um, I mean, dolls are just fucking creepy, right? Uh, so uh, the film that I chose this week is one from 1964. It's a black and white film uh, released by Image and it is called Devil Doll. Uh, I hadn't revisited, I, or I just wanted to revisit this film. I hadn't seen it in such a long time, so. But, uh, yeah, getting to the plot of this one. Uh, it centers around your main character, uh, the great Forelli. Uh, he's like a magician slash hypnotist slash uh, ventriloquist uh, type. That's what his act is. And whatnot. Anyways, so he's in, he's in London. Um, he's, uh, he's actually like a German. He's a German character. Um... So he's in London doing his act and whatnot. Anyways, one night he uh, brings up this character, or this girl named Marianne. Um, upon seeing her up on stage, he just becomes like obsessed with her. He just like not really falls in love with her, but he's just like kind of obsessing over this girl and whatnot and stuff like that. So the thing is, Marianne has a boyfriend and he's a reporter. Um, and he was at the show and he watched the show. And the reporters, he just he really did not like the way the great Forelli went about his act. He thought that maybe he was kind of a phony. Now, the great Forelli has a doll named Hugo, which is part of this act. Anyways, the thing with this doll is that it kind of walks and talks on its own and stuff. Anyways, Marianne's boyfriend is not really digging this. He really wants to figure out, like, how this is happening, because he basically figures that the great Forelli is a total phony. So he starts to investigate. Meanwhile, the great Forelli is totally being obsessed with Marianne and whatnot. Uh, one night, which, you know, the reporter, he thinks that he's kind of dreaming, but the doll actually comes to him and starts talking to him and stuff like that. And uh, he just cannot figure it out for the life of him. So he goes to investigate, and the doll is nothing more than just like a wood doll, like a normal doll kind of thing. Um, but so he starts to investigate a little more, looking into the Great Forelli's background and whatnot, which essentially leads him to Berlin. And uh, yeah, so he's just kind of investigating uh, the Great Forelli. And, uh, you know, of course, he's got, like, some ulterior motives um, and whatnot and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> it's basically, essentially, the, uh, you know, the plot of the film. Uh, my thoughts on this one. Now, it's a really interesting study, in my opinion. Um, I think the, the filmmaker, the, the script is really well done. Because um, you don't really know what exactly Forelli's up to uh, and his motivations with, um, you know, with Marianne and whatnot. And... You know, even with the doll, you don't really know what the hell's going on with this doll. You understand that this doll is walking and talking and even killing people. You know, there's one night, uh, the investigation kind of, it kind of gets full-blown when Varelli's assistant actually winds up getting killed. And, of course, they're kind of looking into Varelli and whatnot because no one's believing that this doll is walking and talking and, and killing and doing these things and whatnot. Uh, but the reporter, you know, he's... He's got a different idea. He's really looking into this background, and uh, he he knows something's up. Um, it's a very interesting film. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I think I think all the acting is really well done in this, and it really kind of sells it too. Uh, Mary Ann, she's kind of like naive and whatnot. Doesn't really understand what's going on. Great Forelli's perfect in the in the film. I think he does a great job as the uh, the ventriloquist and uh, you know the magician and whatnot, hypnotist. Um, so. You know, it, it plays out really well. You know, it's only about 80 minutes, and it's kind of like a psychological thriller-type horror film that kind of plays out like a slasher at times, too. It's a really interesting blend of, like, subgenres. you know? The ending has a total psychological kind of twist to it. Uh, the middle part of the film is, like, 
kind of, like I said, it kind of plays out like an early, early slasher film. And it's very interesting that no one really ever brings this up as like an early slasher film because it's quite clear as day that this doll is walking and talking and there's, it's like a living doll um, and it's killing and whatnot and stuff. But everything kind of comes together towards the end and, you know, everything does make sense. Uh, very interesting flick. I really highly recommend this one. It's one that doesn't get talked about a lot for probably reasons that no one's really ever heard of this movie. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's a very, it's a very cool flick. Um, you know, of, of course there's not really a lot of kills in this, or there's not, like, a lot of blood and gore and stuff like that for 1964. Shot in black and white, which is really interesting. Um, but I do highly recommend this. It's a very interesting film. I don't really want to give too much away about Ferrelli's, you know, uh, motives and whatnot and, and what's going on with that and stuff, but, you know, it's interesting. Definitely give this one a shot. Yeah. Devil Doll from 1964. Very cool flick. And yeah, that's going to do it, guys, for week 62 here. Hope you enjoyed the review. I'll be back next week with, obviously, another review. Hope to see you guys next Sunday. Peace out, guys.